For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he will not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, Remember that, in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Rikia. Just spare a moment for me. I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? Take this down, please. Arrived. Very beautiful views. People honest at first glance. Sincerely, your barely living cripple. I didn't mean to cause offense. Well, then strike that, please. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. And payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Please add my love to you, my sister. Touching. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski. S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Victor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw, Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney.
Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. So is it just locals living in the village? Who else would want to live in a shithole like this? I actually meant, is there anyone visiting, a guest? Ah, you came for some healing. Well, he's no guest here. He's been here months, my friend. The people are tormented, so he sure got folks to heal. Where might I find him? I bet he's still in the tavern. He prays this time of day. Oh, he prays a heck of a lot. You getting in, or what? I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Nothing to see around here. Ah, this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I got to sort out formalities with this tourist. It's your Znami. We are the Tsar's soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily.
serves the Ruskies right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Good boy. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expect it as thinking, Simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? In miracles. In my condition now, I can only hope for a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? I'm from Warsaw. So, from Russia? Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulsky. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. 
It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. Have you figured anything out yet? I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Let's take a look around. Damn it. There were such layers of passion within him. What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, he left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Therefore, a Petersburg lady-in-waiting who was very devoted to you, gave you her breviary. Honestly, I don't remember where I got it. Its contents were always more important. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? A few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind, I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. A 
I don't have much dignity left. I'm prepared to beg for your help. That won't be necessary, Victor. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me be. Well, where am I? Rasputin. There's no one in here. I need to get out of here. What is this sound? Shackles? You're blind. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Where's Rasputin? Uh in the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. It's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep.
What do we have here? They're a gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. That's not yours, don't touch! All these newcomers causing more problems. Sensing Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Over my dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother. And this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too? Because you strangled mine. Now what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? The grey-haired lady is right. Without an assessment of the stolen object's value or evidence it was stolen, this is just slander. And strangling geese is nothing short of mob justice. And who asked you, smartass? Don't worry, sir. When he sobers up, he'll apologize. It's only too bad about goose. Come inside. And tell me what you're doing here.
The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. A lot of people benefit from your wisdom. They're superstitious and timid, as far as I've been able to figure out. Easy to control, right? Pot calling kettle. That, my boy, that you can ask that charlatan with fancy dress and beard. Who takes advantage of who here? Bah! The people here are believers, of course. But the spirit in the village is real, too. Is this spirit you're talking about, not a person? I heard it howling. That's nothing human. One evil spirit here persecutes people, and you can hear it now and then, sometimes. Tragedies attract it, and impure thoughts. We here call it a Bukovac. But other places probably call it other things. An evil spirit's an evil spirit. It torments people and turns their weaknesses against them. And what if I told you I could get rid of it? I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. And I'd ask, how else can I help you? Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away or I'll call for help! 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 Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. You could say that, sure. <laughs> oh. 
I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please leave. Please, please. I wanted to talk, ma'am. Please go. We do. Please, please. Excuse me, I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery. It's not like anyone there is going to run away. And look, my horse is more dead than alive. I'll be right back. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery, and I meant to take the horse out for a ride, so get on. You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thaumaturge? I don't have enough words, sir, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in years. I'm glad I could help. 
I see him. My Uper. He's back. I can feel our bond growing stronger as each moment passes. I'm happy for you, but do restrain your joy. We're in the cemetery. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see, to them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. What changed in the village after the Elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Then you've got to fight. Tragedies such as Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. How did this elder die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place now. A wicked spirit has taken over the blighted land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. This could also be the work of a Salita. What do you mean? As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villages and wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did this elder live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen.
What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. Time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever's carrying the floor that lured the Salutar here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. Above all, flaws are deeply hidden marks left on human souls. They form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes. Those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the salutor. Those are the moments when I've usually failed. I haven't been able to hold on to a salutor. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? I bear the flaw of pride. I wouldn't have guessed. And now? Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutor. People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects, and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person, especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? If I do manage to catch another Saditor, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary Thaumaturge wouldn't even try more than once. Only a few have multiple Salutars. Why? Some have lost their lives trying, others their senses. I was close to madness. I lost my sense of reality. I didn't know what was true. But I know I can do it. I'm almost a hundred percent sure. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? That doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a Thaumaturge so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. I felt something. Where is it? So much suffering. Feel it? It's the smell of mystery. True fear.
This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house caught fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. But now it gave birth to the floor that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Why the hurry, Father? We're the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? exactly the same to all of you. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. But not counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not.
You are right, sir. Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. There are so many words of love inscribed here. Now I know that woman's trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned-out farmstead. Luca sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. What do we have here? Let's take a look around. been going in so many circles, your head will spin. And that tragedy at the Elder's farm, did it affect people badly? Some less, others more. He was like an icon to some folk here. But I found out he could be heavy-handed. He was a drinker and a beater. So, some folk here don't miss him one bit. Have you got many more nosy questions? You cursed him, didn't you? Vesna's father. You put some hex on him, right? A spell. I help people, yes. Vesna had a problem with her father, and believes in curses, spells, and hexes. Is that all? Because, like I said, I don't want to waste time and die here gabbing with you. Vesna came here for help, didn't she? 
Vasily drank and beat her, and no one did anything about it. So you put that curse of yours on him. I even went to talk to him. How did you know that? I am a thaumaturge. You people's magic. That's something I've got no faith in. Go on. For me giving Vasily a piece of my mind, he took it out on Vesna. And then her husband walked in and killed Vasily, and he's the one my salutor latched onto. As for the second thing, could be. But it wasn't Luca that killed Vasily. It was Vesna. Are you sure? I was there. And until now, only two people knew what happened there. Vesna and me. Don't be scared. I'll do my best to help you. Then I think we have to talk to Vesna. Please open up. There's no need to be afraid. Just open the door. You're gonna wear yourself out banging a door like that. Can't you see nobody there? I'm looking for Vesna. I have to speak to her. Am I stopping you? Nobody there. I'm sure she went to see the hubby at work. Go bother them in the clearing instead of pounding on an empty house door. Thank you. Again. This time it's a matter of life and death. How is your search going? Almost finished. I know who's attracting the Bukavach. Can you reveal that secret? It's Vesna. Do you still want to catch that Salutor? Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Not much to think about here. If we can help Vesna, then get this nag quick to clearing like Mr. Shulsky asks. Vesna, child, we have to talk. I'm not here to fight. You shouldn't have threatened my wife. I know what you did. You don't know what you're saying. On the contrary, she's the one who brought the Bukovac here. She killed Vasily. When the wise woman's spell didn't have an effect, you decided to finish him off yourself, didn't you? You're the one who killed your father. And I'd do it again if I could. Get out of here! Here you are, Bokabat. Vesna's floor is mine, and you are mine.
You're going crazy again, you blind fool. A little faith, Thaumaturge. Focus on what's true. My voice is true. I am the truth, you see. Look. Unbelievable. How do you feel? Are you alright? Well, I don't think I'm hallucinating, but that means I'm currently facing a crowd of furious lumberjacks with axes, so I'd say I've been better. What? What? I'm telling the truth. I do it again. None of you understand anything. It's because of this magician. It's his fault. The magician didn't kill Vasily. He didn't bring the evil here! You're a witch! To the stake with her! To the stake! Then kill me too! I was there. I saw everything. Vasily, Bach. You're a big man now. But when he was beating Vesna for years, no one lifted a finger. Bah! Now you're all so brave against her. Go home, pray better, and leave her alone. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know when the train arrives? The postmaster said it's usually no more than an hour late, so it should be here any moment. I got a tougher question for you. Uh, pardon? Will this train get me close to Albuquerque? I'm afraid that's an ocean away, and even to the ocean you've got a ways to go. Thank you. Ever since I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, I can't get my bearings. The things I've seen, sir. Places I've been. I just can't get to Albuquerque. I wanted to send two telegrams, one to Warsaw and one to Paris. Mr. Shulsky, I was meant to send for you when the driver came to get the mail. 
My condolences about your father. Do you still want to send something? You come to say goodbye to me? More like to share my fear. Your condition yesterday, after the fight with that Bukovac, it troubled me. I don't think my treatments are having a long-lasting effect. And you don't look the best. Do you feel all right? I've just heard that my father is dead. My condolences. After your treatment, when I was hallucinating, I saw him. I heard his voice for the first time in years. I'm sure it was him. A strange feeling. Maybe he came to say goodbye. Maybe it was his last chance to speak to you. A prophecy. I hope not. What do you intend to do now? Just a moment ago, I was thinking about Vienna, or Budapest, and going on from there to Paris, but now... I've got to get to Warsaw first. What about you? Thanks to you, I don't think I have anything else to do here. I had a little time to think about what I saw in your mind. Tell me, Victor, have you ever seen a human skull cracked open on the cobblestones? Your question sounded like a threat. Because it is for all of us. I have the skull of Franz Ferdinand himself, with his brain spilling out onto the sidewalk. I also saw the white steps in Odessa running with blood, a battlefield blanketed in lethal fog, with faceless beings emerging from it. This hasn't happened yet, but I saw it as clearly as I see you now. Thanks to you, I know that I can stop it. I know that I am part of history, and I can change it. Even at the cost of scorn, contempt, or my life. You promised me a favor, so Warsaw sounds perfect. Warsawa! Warsaw! Warsaw! Last stop, Warsaw. Time to wake up. It's clouding over. The weather is like my mood. Aside from the circumstances of the funeral bringing you back, 
You hadn't thought of ever returning here? I hate this city. It always makes me think of the stench of vodka, sweat, and urine. Corruption, poverty, and trust me, no justice but street justice. I'm sure something must have changed since you left. But probably not for the better. What about the people? Those close to you? You'll never miss them? The only person I consider close is my sister. But Varsovians? Let's see. Workers are striking. They want to take advantage of the Tsar's visit to Orso. The protests are being violently suppressed. Last week, around a dozen people were killed. Polish Socialist Party militants attacked a train. They stole money, bonds, and explosive materials. They're also suspected of robbing a transport of Dutch bombing. The Socialists in Warsaw must look pretty sharp then. Further along, we've got murders, muggings, and poverty. The newspapers feed on sensation. Remember that in darkness, even a small spark can be seen clearly. Even I can feel hope from all the people riding with us. Can't you? Even without my powers, I can tell that hope is bringing people here from all three partitions. Miners, steelworkers, governesses, maids, speculators, thieves. I've forgotten to read a few of our fellow passengers' possessions, and I know that hope can have many faces. Will you share that knowledge with me? There's a terrified woman riding with us. She's either running away or in hiding. I think that gentleman is smuggling something, because excitement is all mixed up with guilt inside him. And this dandy, he's going whoring. If there's something I've learned in life, Victor, it's never to neglect the whores. Orso, end of the line! Welcome to Varsava! I think the time's come to ask where you plan to stay. I'll let you know when I come up with something. People unite, empires fall.
Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. These are troubled times. Brothers turn against brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw, Georgi Antonovich Skawon. A butcher. Not a popular guy, I presume. I see you ain't from here. That swine keeps a photo album of all the folks he's had shot at the Citadel. Before and after execution. Well, The time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment this office is bestowed on me, no forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None! Whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocators. He sure knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me, are you Polish? Yes, I feel Polish. My name's Victor. Wanda. This is Russia here. Like it or not, Warszawa, Vremia Terora, Zakoizlois. Idi Nachoi! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw, Aristovat. Great heroes in their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Samo bladanie, Puriaki. We want that rebel. The Loudmouth. Damn. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. I didn't dare suggest it myself. Can I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd, and these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or of CX Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I'd find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Or I'd take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. Those don't usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? For instance, I could disclose to a soldier that you came here with ammunition under your skirt. Maybe we should see who they believe. A respected lady of Warsaw, or a common magician who just a hundred years ago would have been burned at the stake. Well, since you asked so nicely. I'm going to take a look around.
Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? Do you realize blood is about to be spilled? And that it might be mine? Fuck off! Do you think it's a good idea to What do you want? My whole life on my knees? I was trying to keep from dragging ordinary people into the fight. They won't expect us to strike first. How many are coming with us? Let's see for ourselves.
Name? Shulski. Victor. One of those Shulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. Thank you. What are you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that too. That bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Can I use the phone? What are you staring at, Ganef? I don't know what that means. Quit squealing. First time in the big city? Have some respect if you don't know who you're running your mouth at. He's one of them that went after the Ruskies with his bare fists. I showed a couple of Russian soldiers when I think about the petitions. I have moments like that sometimes. And I gave it to some Ruskies in the kisser, too. There's this red-bearded fella sitting there. I glassed him in the face, then kicked him in the bean, and wham, on the floor. And I pinched his billfold, too. Did anybody ask you? Shut your damn trap. Well, are you from somebody? My name's Viktor Shulski, and I work on my own behalf. All right. Respect. First of all, I am a Thaumaturge. Now them, I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla, who's a wizard too. How about you? You got a foreskin or what? Is my foreskin any of your fucking business? Well, no. I, I was just... Schmuck. But you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. You should not judge a book by its cover. A tough guy, like a real Warsaw lad. I was born here, now I've come home. Welcome to Warsaw. I wouldn't call you a master strategist. You got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. You're not losing your sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, is it? You'd better tell me if you managed to get rid of your ammunition. If I hadn't, I'd already be locked up at the Citadel. I admit your behavior did successfully distract the Ruskies. You're welcome. All right then. What's such a gorgeous hairy mug doing in a crummy place like this? I spent a little time on the Rue de la Raquette in Paris. It got demolished five years ago. Oui. What about you? You seem to know your way around this setting. You've been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? Let's say I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. Dealers in stolen Dutch pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rotlitz's cafe. 
I don't want to jinx it, but do you spend time there too? If I'm not there, no one will want to talk to you. And don't worry, I don't usually hang out long in places like this. Shorsky! I see you won't be hanging out here long either. Jolski, this yours? That's right. Then take it and get out of here. Thank you.
I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat, Mordechai Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? Was that his cause of death? His heart? I'm curious myself. I haven't had a chance to find out. Yes, I, I understand. My condolences, once again. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. I think I ought to arrest you, Taumaturg. I haven't done anything, officer. What's the problem? I barely recognize you either. You still haven't figured out who I am? Don't be surprised. The last time we saw one another was 20 kilos ago. <laughs> Uncle Veronian? I will not keep you. That guy's probably all alone back there, among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. Sister? Victor. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad to. How are you holding up? All this caught me off guard, but for now I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at yourself. What happened? I took a short trip to a Warsaw jail. What? Are you joking? During the funeral? Are you alright? Everything's fine, don't worry. Have you written to Mother? Yes, but... What can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. Fine, let's get this over with. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. After brief suffering fell asleep in the Lord. Brief? I hope not. Did you write this yourself? A tyrant, bigot, and liar, mistakenly absorbed, died after suffering all too briefly. That's better, and definitely closer to the truth. The day you died, you visited me in my dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here, and I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream you looked older. <laughs> you gave me hell as usual. You didn't believe I'd succeed. You were wrong. I've come back with two salutars. I'm sorry there are so many things I didn't get to say to your face. All those years, I said them over and over to myself, in my head. How you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame in yourself. Someone else was always guilty. Never you. Mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. 
Ligia because she wasn't born a boy. Me because I was born a Thaumaturge, but I didn't want to live following your principles. And now... <sighs> Farewell, father. Am I intruding? I was reflecting at the grave of my beloved father. You tricked me. I heard something else. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. Viktor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. I don't think so. I intend to leave as soon as I wrap up my family obligations. I doubt we'll have time to meet again. <laughs> Who knows? Again, my condolences. I didn't catch your name. My name's Konechkin. Ivan Konechkin. Goodbye. Such interesting friends you had. <sighs> I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Great-grandmother Josefina, a thaumaturge. Grandpa Nicolim, a thaumaturge. I barely remember him. We can go. The hardest thing was getting the lid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. Love at a funeral? Eros postmortem? Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Konstantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Faina. Thank you. And you, sir? We're twins, my dear lady. The Shulskis reunited. You don't look like a horrid cripple. Why did you leave Warsaw so quickly? Don't tell her anything. She'll write whatever she wants anyway. And we'd better get going. I suggest you leave. Otherwise, I'll overlook your womanhood and make sure you can never pronounce a single syllable correctly again. You'd permit that to happen, Judge? Maybe I should write about this. And who would let you print it? Someday the press will get the Russian boot off its neck, Judge. I'm afraid none of us will live to see the day, my dear. Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us.
Miss, your guests have arrived. The lawyer's upstairs too, waiting. A trifle jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grajana, dear. Let the guests wait. First, I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. Make sure Uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. Master Victor, good God! Half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You look just like your father in his youth. Completely his spitting image. Should I make you some cocoa, Master? It would warm you up a little. <laughs> no need to fuss, Grzynka. I'm used to worse chills than this. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Pietia, <laughs> forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Huh. How are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye.
I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasio's. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure. How did it go? Mission accomplished? I think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to and raise a toast to the dead. And recently, We've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So, to an easy death, as Stasio and I used to say. Hmm. How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer, but such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking alone? I suppose there's no reason to bear grudges or be angry, is there? Pistachio? To an easy death. Familiar faces keep vanishing from my life. Stasio and my Helena before him. I miss my little darling. I miss them both. Well, obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? At the funeral, there was this sad Jewish fellow, Mordechai Hayat. Do you know him, uncle? He worked for Stanislav, but that was a long time ago. I don't know him more than that. 
So, shall we collect our inheritance? You'll all have to wait for me a moment yet. All right, but hurry up.
I am ready, Mr. Shulsky. I only need all of you to be present. Can we start reading your father's will? Yes, let his will be done. Again. Let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of All Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity, Amen. Therefore, my first irrevocable wish is to appoint as executrix of this will my daughter Ligia Schulska. Immediately after my death, an inventory shall be conducted in full accordance with the law. After completing the inventory, all my personal movables will be sold at public auction. And let the funds raised thereby be donated on the anniversary of my death to the beggars near the cemetery. The administration of the remainder of my fortune I leave, without restriction, to the person of my daughter, Ligia. I'm not even getting a teaspoon. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them, I merely offer her one piece of advice. I wish that the business should be conducted with modesty, prudence and honesty, as I have conducted it my whole life. A joker to the very end. <laughs> to my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Now, Mr. Fedorov, what did my father leave my mother? Hmm? Victor, be serious. Nothing. There is a special item reflecting the absolute lack of any bequest to my former spouse, Nadia Fyodorovna Voronina. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire, in the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly, though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last bequest poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. A building 
It collapsed on top of him. How? How did this happen? It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. When he didn't come back for a long time, I got the bad feeling something had happened. Then... We rode there together. An entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio, who had the bad luck to simply be walking by. To see him there in that condition, it's beyond description. The Grimoire. Could someone have taken it? Perhaps, in all that confusion. But why would anyone want Papa's Grimoire? An ordinary person won't use it. Would the Tarmator just happen to be passing by? Father had all his knowledge in there, but I don't know if it would be useful to someone other than him. I don't even know why he left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Shudmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. I foresaw a slightly more pleasant end for him myself. I doubt even he deserved such a horrible death. Those might be the kindest words you've ever said on the subject of a father. How typical of a sort of person to keep a portrait in his study of a family that was only a family on canvas. Not long after the painting was done, he got divorced, ruined the Nijitsas, and kicked out his son. But there the portrait hangs, as if family meant anything at all. I don't know what exactly happened with Abauritsa, but I know that Papa felt guilty. You don't want to forgive him even now that he's gone? The dead need no forgiving. And as for forgetting, I don't know how. It's just a shame about the grimoire. What do you intend to do? And Mordechai Chayat. Could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. With your sight, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or uncle, or detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? And where are father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check the two. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones a rest. I'll see you out. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by.
the most important thing is you're here now. How do you find our old stomping ground? Yes, I'm not too fond of this place either. This is where I had my last conversation with my father, just before I left. If you can call it a conversation. Can you see my dreams? Nightmares, actually. Ever since I decided to come back, I keep reliving the same memory. The Lone Shark Incident. I've been seeing his death more and more lately. I wonder if his shop is still there. Perhaps we should go there and check.
Have you found anything yet about the grimoire? Is there any way I can help? What's next for you? You're in charge here now. Have you got some kind of grand scheme? A grand scheme? Well, for now, I'm just trying to keep my head above water. Certain customers are unconvinced that a woman can handle running a business. What's worse, a woman without powers. You know what I mean. A thaumaturge at my side would shut them all up. After all, it's your heritage too. I don't know anything about running a company, but if I can help in any way, you can count on me. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I trust the smoke doesn't bother you. The trousers are an original style. Until now, I'd only seen women in trousers in the East. First of all, they're practical. It's the 20th century. It's high time we started dressing comfortably. You've always been brave, never afraid of anything or anybody. Like when Mother almost had a fit because you dumped my best tie in hot cocoa. I didn't care that she was angry. I wanted to get you back for not wanting to play with me. Because you were being too annoying. You meant to say brave. By the way, Grajana still makes cocoa every evening. You can conjure up the flavor of childhood if you want. Is there anything else you want to talk about? You used to detest the smell of tobacco. You'd hold your breath going into father's study. That's true, but when I'd stay here alone with Papa and somehow over the years I got used to it. I don't know when I started copying him even. Daddy's girl. You were always closer to him. That's not true. I was just less rebellious than you, his thaumaturge son. Now come on, what else is on your mind? In Father's study, I found a trace of a woman that I couldn't identify. Probably Svetlana Romyantseva. Who is she? And what does Father have to do with her? Svetlana is a Russian aristocrat who travels with the Romanov's court. I can only tell you she was a customer of Father's. A customer? If you don't want to say, then don't. Where can I find her? When she's in town, she stays at the Imperial Hotel. She might know something that will help me find the grimoire. Not so fast. To get in, you're going to need me and my connections. Svetlana is famous for her soirées where she hosts the Crème de la Crème of Warsaw. We could go together. How about you track down some evening clothes and I'll sort out the invitation. And I won't take no for an answer. Sadly, you never give me a chance. Unfortunately, everything in my wardrobe is antediluvian. I need a tailor. There's a shop at 11 Pruzna Street that's fairly decent and quick. We also have barbers in Warsaw in case you want to do something about whatever you have growing on your head and face. Where's Grajena when I need her? Master Victor, let me guess, have you come for some hot cocoa? Yes, a cup of cocoa would do me good. Help yourself. The pot is in the salon, along with some of your favorite cookies. It's been an age since we've seen one another. I'm glad you're back. Mistress Ligia is really struggling with everything. 
And so, the great Stanisław Szulski is dead, crashed by a building. Can't say I'd wish a death like that on anybody. An awful death. Sheer cruelty. Mr. Szulski didn't deserve it. Now all we can do is think back on what a wonderful man he was. That won't take long. Ligia won't open up to me, but how is she doing? She's having a rough time, the poor dear. Her heart is heavy, though she doesn't show it, but she's strong. She keeps her chin up and doesn't give in. And it's good she's got you to help now, Master. Only she started smoking like a chimney. She takes after her father, no question about it. So, this death, what do you make of it, Grashenka? I'll tell you in confidence, Master Shulsky. Now, I'm a simple woman, but something about your father's death doesn't sit right with me. How do you mean, Grashenka? Don't you suspect some impure powers had a hand in it? Do you mean it could have something to do with thaumaturgy? That I don't know. Look at us jabbering while there are potatoes not peeled. Forgive me, master. Another time, Grazenka. I'll get out of your way. Always ample work, but I can always snatch a moment for a chit-chat with you, master. The telephone. Hello? I talk here? Do you hear me now? Victor? Victor, are you there? Grigori? Yes. Victor, uh, where are you? On the other end of the line, at home, where the telephone rang. <laughs> Incredible. Has something happened? To me? No. I am telecommunicating with you to say I found lodgings here in Warsaw. If you need me, I'm by the cemetery. Uh, what number is it? Uh, yes, yes. 7 Poboskowska Street. Uh, number 7 by cemetery. Poboskowska. I'm glad. It's good to hear your voice. <laughs> it's good to hear you as well. Uh, goodbye. Uh, I want to end now. Uh, what do I... Uh, like this? Wonderful device. Remarkable. Hello? Oh, and now? Let's wait. So
So, did you miss the city? Me neither. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. for when your life is at stake. Make any vampire quickly retire. An aspen steak for you, sir? Premium wood carved at midnight on the solstice. They're cheap. The steaks are exquisite, I must admit. What else do you sell? Holy icons, miraculous Marys, salt. Table salt? Consecrated, but the steaks, I tell you, sir. Ever since they buried the magician, they've been selling like hotcakes. Anyone with some sense buys them. Do you believe in all of this? I believe in money. And if people are willing to buy a stick out of fear, then who am I to argue? This buried magician... Is it Shulski? I think so. It makes no difference to me what his name was. For him, stakes are not enough. We need to call the Pope. Don't tell anyone or I'll lose my livelihood. Vampires? I don't think so. What do you mean? The dead rising at the cemetery? They must be vampires. Vampires are salutars attracted by blood and sizzling passion. There's nothing interesting for them among the dead. It's what people believe that matters. Goodbye. I hope the vampires don't take revenge on you. They have no interest in me. I'm anemic. Hey, please, tell your friends. On Wednesdays, I sell four steaks for the price of two. What is this foolishness? Open this gate! Right. No one can keep us from entering the cemetery. It's a free country. Well, how long are you going to keep wagging your chins? If it's closed, it's closed! Oh, Mr. Shulsky, finally. Why is the cemetery closed? Ah. Uh, I won't talk about it out here in front of these boors. Come inside. You're letting him in, Gravedigger? What the hell is going on? Shut your mouths or I won't open till Judgment Day. This is about your father, you know. All right, let's see what this is about. Bah! What did my father do this time? I've got two pieces of news, so to speak. There's bad news, and I'm not sure what the other one is. Which do you want to hear first? Tell me the bad news. Today some rebel rousers came here and started making trouble. They ravaged your family too. What do you mean, ravaged? I couldn't believe it either. I sent you a note immediately. What about the other news? One night, I went out and saw the dead lying around. But not in their places, you know? In the pathways. And then I saw their graves dug up, as if the dead crept right out of the ground. And these bodies are still lying here? No, of course not. You can't do that. 
but if you want to learn more about the case, they might come out again tomorrow night. People are starting to talk about resurrections and the end of the world. Resurrections and now these maniacs! Judgment Day seems to be upon us, you know? Those vandals that ravaged the tomb, what did they look like? I closed the gate because they're still hanging around there. Why don't you see for yourself, you know? According to my knowledge, dead bodies don't rise on their own. Were there any witnesses? Any noise at night? Traces? Nothing. Just the stiffs in odd places. Goodbye. Get rid of this scum at once! Darn it. Look at him. I think he's a real, you know, tempermancer. I'll show you how you talk to magicians. Are you so eager to die, tempermancer? And who are you, anyway? We're the ones who purge the world from scum like you. I'm a bit sorry now, but I think you will be too in a moment. You heard him. He asked for it.
Let's take a look around. So, oh, Mr. Shulsky, you gave those lads by the tomb a good belting, huh? I could hear the echoes. Thank you, but they weren't too keen to talk, and I have a few questions to ask. Maybe I could help, you know? It's a rather grim job you've got here. Well, you know. I'd rather do this than struggle with drunkards in a bar or bolts in a factory. The dead are calm and predictable, you know? Unless they start rising from the grave, that is. What is the WAS? Those fellas at the mausoleum were connected with it. Ah, the Warsaw anti taumaturge Society. Loonies, you know? Ever since your father was laid to rest here, 
They've been yelling their heads off by the walls. Where can I find their bosses? You know? Why? Do you smell blood? There's one behind the cemetery wall inciting the crowd. Ask him. Once you have cleaned up near the mausoleum, I can open the gate. Goodbye. Good luck with the WAS, you know? Let me know when you get rid of them. Hello. Indeed. Fanciable. Not close. I would even say a solid eight, wouldn't you? I don't know. We'll see when he turns around. Eight it is. Will you show us something more? May I ask what you ladies are doing? What everyone does. We're evaluating. A solid eight? You know, on a scale from one to ten, you look quite spiffy, sir. Why are you smoothing with some sucker who's already suited and booted for his own funeral? And you, lousy fop. Got an itch in looking for some philandering at the Marble Orchard, are you? Six, five, zero. There's nothing here for you. Mr. Eight got some you-know-what, so he caught our eye. And vice versa, I can tell. Get ready for some shellacking, lads. We got a dandy looking for some extra ventilation. And, as luck would have it, not too far from the orchard either. Sir, you have the unique opportunity of becoming a Ten.
Yes, sir. My name is Viktor Shulski. Grigory Rasputin said I could find him here. I can sense he's in a drawing room. Intriguing. Is that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce you. My dear hostess, Aniela Narodzinska, and my dear friend, Viktor Shulski. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Thank you. My dear, we finished for today. Now I'll find out what brings Viktor to us. What brings you here? But you were the one who phoned. Very funny. You look like you've made yourself at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. Will you tell me about it? Later. What brings you to me? Have you known them long? No, but Aniela and Lucian are my two good souls. They took me, an impoverished preacher, in under their roof. And I'll never forget that. Are you helping them too? 
I am a bomb for Angela's frazzled nerves. But enough of that. Tell me what you need. Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? No, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Nordazinski door is always open to you.
I haven't been here in a while. What do you want to tell me, friend? I'll be first, you'll see! Slow down, you'll get your clothes all dirty. That kid 
It's me. My mother thought I'd lost my mind. So did Liga, I guess. And that, as we know, didn't happen until much later. I didn't remember that Abaurizzi was there too. He must have been. After all, he'd laughed at me later for wetting my pants. It was my birthday. Was it then that you chose me? What do you want to tell me, friend? Victor Hurry will be late for mass. I'm coming, Commander. Victor, do you think that when you have a husband, you have to argue with him? I suppose so. I don't want a husband. You don't have to get one, but I'm worse off. Grazinka says that when I grow up, she'll find me a husband. Sunday before Father stopped taking us to church because of me. I accidentally touched the priest's stell as he passed us with the censer. 
That was the first time when I felt another person's thoughts, their intentions. I heard the words of someone's confession that the priest was thinking about. It was like they were directed at me. And I didn't falter to share them with the rest of the congregation. Mother didn't manage to stop me, and my indiscretion caused the prominent marriage to fall apart. My parents' marriage not long after.
Have you been feeling tired lately? Yes. Have your wives been hysterical? Your chickens getting sick? Milk going sour for no reason. Yes! That's all caused by tempermancy. Curses, black magic, evil energy. You don't believe it? Here's proof. Ever since that tempermancer was buried here, the dead have been rising from the graves. It's a sign that the apocalypse is coming. For more details on the rapidly coming end times, please visit our office. Are you the one giving orders to the WAS? Look who's here. A magician tempermancer. The enemy of humankind. The ruiner of good fun and the vanquisher of children's smiles. I'll ask again, who is in charge of this circus? The President told us what you are. If you want to ask him about something in person, have a look at the brochure like the others. You know how to read, right? If the cemetery is sacred to you, why don't you explain desecrating other people's tombs? This is all your fault. The black energy has polluted this earth. The dead are outraged by it. We need to ward off the evil powers. I see. So I'll need to look for reasonable answers someplace else. You have no right to speak. You have no right even to stand here on hallowed ground. I must disagree with some of your points. Like what? Wives are becoming hysterical. There's a simple answer for that. If I had a half-witted husband like that, I'd lose it too. Better go home and think about whether you're catering to all of their needs, like real men should, rather than running around these rallies. You! When was the last time you took care of your wife properly? I... It's been a while. Um... I'll go apologize to her. Actually, I'll go too. To my Halincia. What have you done? Who am I going to speak to now? What do you want to tell me, friend? You'll put me in an early grave. Duh, because it's always the woman's fault when a man starts getting certain notions. I'm the head of this family and I deserve respect. Father, can Abaurezi come with us to the sea? Out of the question. Holidays are to be spent with family, with loved ones, not with servants.
Listen, boy. You'll be the head of this family someday, and you have to understand that family is the one thing you can always rely on. Especially since you're a Tempermancer. Others will rob you, kill you, or even worse, ruin you. You should keep your friends close, but never behind your back. And your enemies you should keep even closer, next to your heart. Because only then will they not surprise you. Rarely did I see my father so furious. He thought that a trip to the once Polish Baltic Sea would improve his chilly relations with mother. I really didn't want to go. I prefer to play with Abaurice in the streets of Praga. Mom wasn't disappointed that we stayed either. I didn't want to step on father's toes again, so I asked Ligia to make a scene, like she did when Grazinka tried sending her to bed and she wanted to keep reading. I didn't even have to persuade her much. I wondered if it was the power of the twin bond or if I manipulated her subconsciously back then. Now I know I couldn't do it without forming our pact. But if that's the case, what were you doing here?
Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill... Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. I felt something. Where is it? I felt something. Where is it? There's something odd nearby. I felt something. Where is it? I felt something. Where is it?
Kalush. Look what they got dragged in. God damn. Are you the ones disturbing the dead and strewing the bodies all over the graveyard? No, not dead. We are professionals. We've got the troublemaker here. I bet he'll call the Undertaker. That's too bad. Are you from the anti thaumaturg Society? We don't care if they're magicians or not. A stiff is a stiff. The Gravedigger will be surprised to see all this looting. Fuck, I knew Thursday would be no good. Don't be a sissy. It'll be all over soon. I'll take the coat. I'll take the clodhoppers.
Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Sweet Jesus, don't scare me. I'm just here to see if the dead are lying down as they should. I searched the area. Grave robbers are more of a separate issue, but I learned something about the rising corpses. I'm dying of curiosity. Do you understand? It seems that the corpses are helped in the wanderings by someone who knows the cemetery well and keeps their tools here. Hold on. My hands are clean. And is frustrated by how little you pay him. Eh, he's my assistant. Are you saying he's involved in this? Yes. Where can I find him? And he probably drinks with those friends of his own in Green Square. That louse. If you meet him, tell him he's fired. Goodbye. Good luck with the WAS, you know? Let me know when you get rid of them.
secrets, not on my watch.
Am I a magician or what? Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. He was practically annoyed about it. There was something he had wanted to finish. And this building, it couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt! Timer. There you go. Tighter. We took his book. Well done. All right. Let's wake the asshole up. Wakey, wakey. What? What's... Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now, let me get a good look at you. You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. Well, what did you expect? That after years of hanging out in Parisian salons, you'd come back handsome and spruced up. How do you know about Paris? Nothing stays secret from any agents, right? Shit. Just read out my birth certificate, why don't you? Aba Oryce Niedzic. Long time no see, Szulski. What kind of a sick idea is this? Kidnapping me? It's a joke! You don't find it funny? No. What does it feel like to have your life depend on me? Not the best. Listen, I understand you hold some resentment within yourself over what happened, but I can't change the past. Well, yes, but shit. You told me to wait for help, and instead the boys in blue showed up, and you washed your hands of it, and left my pop to rot in prison. At least admit that you acted like a dick. I admit that it was a shitty move on my father's part. Your father's? Well, look at this weasel. Straight to whitewashing the past. Like father, like son, eh? My father's karma came back to bite him. A horrible death in return for the kind of man he was. I'm sure you heard. Well, admittedly, nothing's but a spring in my step in a long while, like hearing that Shulski met his end as sludge on the sidewalk. They say the devil doesn't take the wicked, but for your old man, he made an exception. Now that he's dead, let's put the past behind us. There'd be no reason to talk if you hadn't pinched Papa's gut back then. Victor, it kills me that we pulled the trigger together. Together! You did? Where's that rat? What the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. Come here, coward! Looks like you've got a chance for redemption. Let's show these dickheads you don't mess with the shifts. I'll take a look around.
You guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse, because I was right in the middle of an incredibly important meeting. It was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today, we're practicing our boxing on you. Some... Feathers? A bee. I know you. You are... I can't remember now. Fucked up, but today you'll regret it. Today I've got the Demon Master on my side. Show these cretins, Victor.
<laughs> you never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening, at Nyejit's bar. If we're to have fun, let's do it right. A round for everyone. <laughs> Old friendships never die, right? Here, Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Enjoy it! Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So, are we quits? I help you out. Now, can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up yet. That burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Good riddance. Well, what do you say, Victor? Returning to the subject of the past. Fuck the past. We're in the here and now. Let's enjoy the moment. Cheers. You don't want to talk about it? I thought that was why you kidnapped me. I've changed my mind already. You better tell me what you're poking around my bar for. It seems to me there's work for me to do at your bar. No shit! I'll give you a hand. Not like that. Thaumaturgical work. It seems to me there's a saluter here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? I'll give him... Although, hang on now. A demon is a good publicity. Hey, everybody! From this day forth, the London bar will be known as the Demon's Den. Go and tell everybody that here is the only place you can do shots in the devil's company. Listen, you keep on thinking about how you can develop your business, and I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go. I'm going to wet my whistle and see how you do your hocus pocus. If you need something, I'm here, and I'll give you a hand. Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? Enjoy your drink.
Have you nosed around my humble little... Enjoy it. Have you knows the Well, well. How did you get your hands in all this? I worked my ass off for years. I found myself in shitty positions. Sometimes I had to make people disappear. Pop wouldn't have been proud of me. Maybe it's a good thing he didn't live to see it. But then I'd have to kill you. What's stopping you? You had me tied up in the chair. Well, I sure did. Maybe the thought even crossed my mind. But I decided to give you a chance. Witness the kindness within my heart. Tell me, what else is going on? Tell me something more about these Cossacks. They roam around different bars picking fights as soon as they get leave from the Citadel. Sometimes we pummel each other, and things continue as usual. I've had a look around, and something's caught my attention. I think they might have something to do with the Salutar. Well then, shoot! A bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything, or have you found anything else? Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Probably, but that's not very unusual. Look how helpful I am. Keep going. Who smashed your window? How long it's been? Uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. Uh, I'm at your service. You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood a bit. That's my opinion. What happened to the puppy? He was called Romeo. Uh, he fell in love. One day he packed his bag, ran off with that bitch. I'm sure he uh, started a family. He's raising his puppies and reminiscing. Yeah. My brave little guy. Uh, but what were we talking about? You get a lot of stiffs here then? Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. What do you call a lot? Th three a month on average, I'd say. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. But fuck it, I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. Well then I'll ask you, is he an idiot? 
or what? I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead, go ahead. I have to gather myself a little too. Lelek. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're out of your goddamn mind. The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go get Lelek. Yeah, come on. Where about it is, Lelek could be as well. Maybe his flaw is speaking for him. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck them. Come on, I'll show you places even the philosophers never dreamed of. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there too. The smell of Warsaw nightlife. Smell it, Victor. Relish it. A bouquet of sweat, shit, and puke. And piss, thanks. But it's Warsaw's piss and puke interwoven with the aroma of steadfastness and heroism. What? You give up, you piece of shit? Do you see what I see? I see two morons wrestling with a lamppost. How are you fellas doing? Who's winning? It's a colossus, looking down its nose. Arrogant piece of... I swear it called us sons of bitches. Well, that would piss anyone off. All in all, look at it this way, about it. It is a little stuck up. Well, that's true. If you look close enough at it, it could be enough to piss you off. That's what I said! You sure showed that lamppost what brave squaddies you are. It's leaning now, so you taught it a lesson. Do my eyes deceive me, or are you vandalizing city property? Papers, please. I think you must have a screw loose, gents. <laughs> Different rules apply in the bar district. No need to show your ID, Nijit. We've already got a sale waiting for you. Well, I don't think so. Go ahead, Victor.
Well, well. You sure gave that the Cossack treatment. And what? You guys were so worn out from fighting a lamppost that you didn't help? It was fun to watch. Nijits and the magician in action? It's a fine sight. Time to keep an eye out for Dennis. He was injured in the fight with the Colossus and got lost. I think. Maybe the Ataman ended up at the Lockstock. Where? The lock, stock, and barrel. This Ruski bar up the stairs here. Competition. <laughs> the night's still young. There's excitement ahead. This devil of yours hasn't turned up yet? So far, no. We'll manage. Come on, I know where he might be hanging out. I'd hole up there myself. Come on, you'll see the true face of Abauritsi Nijits. And maybe you'll even find what you're looking for here. Welcome to my world. Meaning what? That they've got a guy tied up in the back here too, and they're about to threaten to drown him in the Vistula? I see the positive mood of the neighborhood has infected you. Wonderful. But you guessed wrong, friend. Here, well, magic happens here. Thought is transformed into word, to penetrate the material and infuse the universe with tender. All right, let's drink, shall we? A double barrel each, please. People come here to tickle their palates with exquisite libations. Let's do a milk of 83. You're not messing around. After years of begging and eating scraps off aristocratic tables, I'm not messing around. You come here to get some fresh air away from the underworld? I come here so I don't forget who I am. A poet.
You've always had a silver tongue. <laughs> Don't I know it? Add to that a despicable past, and you've got all the ingredients for a poet. Now why are we sitting here instead of at your bar? My lads, bless them. Set me up a poetry reading once, but they're simple folk. They don't understand this, poesy. They laughed when they should have cried. Cried when their hearts should have flooded with anger. I don't hold it against them. My bar trades on its reputation as a dive. That's how you make the most money. So what's actually been going on with you over the last 15 years? My father ended up behind bars, and as for me, the streets took me in, taught me life. I roamed around, got odd jobs, and when I was hard up, I went begging. I've got a tough skin on me, Victor, but the embers of poetry still smolder in my heart. Well, in time, I gained a new family, my shivs. We were supposed to go to high school together, maybe to university after that. Everything would have gone differently, if only. We did the world a favor by fucking over that loan shark. One way or the other, Pop's debts would have landed me on the streets. If I hadn't told you about it, you wouldn't have hit on your brilliant idea. I'll sort him out with my salader, you kept saying. You were too unskilled at that magic business of yours, eh? My upper had only just come to me. I didn't know anything about being a thaumaturge. Yeah, and I'm sure you wanted to impress your daddy. I trusted my father to help us, but he only told me not to interfere. He swore he'd sort it out. All right, there's no need to waste your damn breath. He's gone, and we're here. What is your plan? Would you rather the name Nyejits make people talk about the king of the underworld, or a great poet? The poetic king of the underworld. Anyway, they already say that. The Shivs think of me as a bard, and the competition says so too. And since I've got them all by short hairs, they respect me, even though they can't string two proper sentences together. I've got a gift, Victor. I can't complain about a lack of talent. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Lelek is attached to you. A demon following me around? Bullshit. There are a lot of indications. Your personality, the things you do, and stuff like that. I'd rather not have anyone sharing my head with me. Can you do something about it? I see it like this. You've always had some seed of madness inside you, but I don't think you've ever been so fucked up. Beg pardon? I found your poem. Did you write it in your own blood or that of one of your victims? Victims? The hell are you talking about? Of course it was mine. I slice my veins open for art. That's how committed I am. More like desperate. 
No true poet needs to resort to gimmicks. He just needs ink, and the world will hear him. Shit. One more word, and I'll forget about our friendship. There's nothing to forget. Our friendship is just a figment of your sick imagination. Stab me in the heart. It'll hurt less. I... forgive me. I don't think that at all. I'll chalk it up to your devils. Maybe one of them perched on your shoulder for a second. The only good thing is that now I'm certain Lelek follows someone else. You're just... the way you are. It couldn't be any other way. A demon pulling my strings? No way. So what? Should we continue our search? Oh, Victor, lad, how that we tickles me. Come on, of course we're continuing. We have to find that little brat of yours. Private party tonight, no riffraff. Cheers, Ivan, my friend. Mr. Nyejits, well, I've got clear instructions. Don't be silly. It's a beautiful night out. Rare when we see stars over Warsaw. But now look. One, two. If you count them all, you'll know the extent of my gratitude. Well, all right, go on in. I'm fond of you, Mr. Njajits. I'm just doing my job. You see? 
that's respect. This is what they call a private party. What is this, awake? Good thing we showed up. Double barrel for me. Actually, make that too. Danis doesn't think about what he's doing, and he doesn't care about the consequences, as if it's all in the name of fun. He couldn't cope with his broken heart, so he started tumbling further and further into the depths of chaos. I think Danis took the breakup with his fiancée really hard. Losing in love is driving him to irrational behavior. Time to figure out his flaw and catch Lelek. I wonder if he'll play Russian roulette with me. Look at her all over him. I'd know how to make the most of being so popular. Oh, Nashtrug. Come sit with us. 
Did I hear you talking about Danis? Danis and babes. He talks a lot, makes a big fuss around himself, but when push comes to shove, he leaves them hanging. So them babes must like him. Yeah, nothing for us to do except drink and enjoy one another's company. You seem thick as thieves. Have you known each other long? Since we were kids. We're all from the Don Host Oblast. Under Danis, we've traveled far and wide with the Russians. Danis is your commander? Da, Ataman. You know Danis pretty well, right? Yeah, what about it? I take a professional interest in guys like him. Eh. You think I can ask you guys a couple of questions? Let's see what you're after, wizard. Danis had a fiancé, but she dumped him. How come? You know, he keeps his feelings to himself. But it hurt him. That's what I think. Maybe she got sick of waiting. She had her pick of men in the village. And is that what made Danis so devil-may-care? A broken heart? Sure. What would it be otherwise? Who is Pasha? Our buddy, from the same village as us, out past the Don River. We went through a lot together. Pasha's dead. Leave it at that. What actually happened to him? We all stick close together. But when you're drunk, you get some weird ideas. That damned Shashka of Pasha's was a spoil of war. One time, Danis and Pasha got tanked and started playing Russian roulette for it. So, Danis clearly won. But that little saber of Pasha's doesn't make him feel triumph, more like love and concern. He really looks after it. I've heard Danis likes playing Russian roulette. He's such a bonehead. He never thinks about the trouble he'll get himself into. You'd better watch your head when he's around. Who'd have thought that Danis was such a sensitive soul? Does he play the balalaika a lot? Lately, he's been singing either about the Grim Reaper and Hellfire or rolling in the hay. You can't keep up with him. He goes too heavy on the tearjerkers, for my taste. Any more questions? You know what I think? You're not being straight with me. What? I think Pasha and Danis were more than comrades in arms and blood brothers. On top of that, I think that's why Danis' fiancé dumped him. People from your village kept giving her crap. The fuck are you talking about? They were blood brothers, that's all. You'd love to find a buddy like that, someone for better and for worse. Calm down, I can see your faithful friends. I'd better go take a drag of also air. If you like breathing through a straight nose, don't try any funny business.
Come on, don't make me back. I'll fix up your head for no extra fee. I'm in no hurry to go upstairs. I feel like a game. You up for one? Me? Forget it. I have gorgeous hands. Everyone says so. You're not gonna carve them up with that shank. What? You eavesdropping magician? Lock, stock and barrel? Or the London bar? The Demon's Den! You're taking a fucking survey? Are you spying for Nijits? Sheer curiosity. I work for nobody. I'm the one in charge of... Devils, I know, I know. Get out of here, I can't stand the sight of you. I found something that belongs to you. A letter. Is... Hand that over. If you read it, you'll regret it. It's private. Easy now, I just wanted to talk. We don't have anything to talk about. Leave me alone. You're sitting there so quietly. How about a little game? You play Russian roulette here, lads? Or are you too soft? Ha! Think you're harder than me? I eat Russian roulette for breakfast. Let's play. Did someone say Russian roulette? Show us what a tough guy you are, pretty boy. Six chambers, one bullet. Ready to start? Wait, Victor. Let's play with mine. Yours would do too. It would be more interesting that way. Does this remind you of anything? My turn. It was nice knowing you guys. And you, Victor. If fate so ordains, We'll speak in hell. Well, four more. Ah. We're starting round two. Is that how it was with Pasha? Do you wonder if you're going to wipe the remains of my brain of your face? Shut your trap! What? You shitting your pants? Gods of chaos, watch over me. That's the end. We know what's waiting in the cylinder. Are you brave enough to cross even that final boundary? Enough, gentlemen. We were kidding around. Danis, there's nothing in there. I didn't load it. Pasha ran out of luck and lost his shashka, right? You're lying, Nijits. You're all lying. You think I'm scared of death? The sight of me makes the Grim Reaper quake in his boots. Well, go ahead. Watch carefully. Is that lovely song for me? Don't stop. I'm enjoying listening.
Enough of losing. Rasputin will tame you. Bullets have no effect on me. The end will never come. What are you talking about, Dennis? Let's get to drinking. The night's still young. You don't understand. None of you. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear another word. Get out! Shut it, Selim. Or I'll find a loaded piece and shoot you dead. Give me a second. To get my thoughts together. I have to. Let yourself feel the pain that's consuming you. You need it. Pasha, I'm sorry. I haven't mourned you. Danis, pull yourself together. Come on! No, Selim, I have to. You too as well. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. No words are necessary. Seems to me we should drink a toast to the dead. Dennis, we are your brothers forever, till the day we die! Come on, let's leave these scoundrels alone. We've got stuff to talk about. What a poetic experience. I can feel it in my bones, as if I were part of something grand, you know? You carry an unloaded revolver? Anybody can pull a trigger. I use it to smash heads. And balls. But tell me, did you catch the little sprat? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't easy. It still isn't. Was it worth it? I don't know. At least now it won't be Lelek deciding Danis's fate. And that's always a good thing. Anything that lets you sleep at night, friend. Forget sleep. Now I need hypnosis. Thanks for today, I'm about it. Sir. Oh no, hold on now. The night will end when I say so. Come here. What do I care? Lead the way. Well, yeah, I get that. At the end of the day, what heals the body and soul better than a double vodka, eh? Four. To us, to you, to vodka. <laughs> Show her your demon, Vico. <laughs> Just not on my shoes. Victor, Victor, boy. Maybe you aren't at all such a prick as Sataniswaf was. <laughs> 99 bottles standing on the wall. Hey! <gasps>
Well, hello, Sleeping Beauty. My head's about to explode. What the hell are we doing in front of my house? The front steps got the better of you. But Victor, to hell with that. What a night we had. Admit it. If you're looking for fun, do it with Nyejits. Well, I admit, it was quite, quite... Quite schmite. It was spectacular. And we both know it. We'd better get away from here if Ligia finds us. Ligia! And by what fault do your eyes burn red, hot, while your mouth is like honey? You trust over much in my virtue? I see you're looking after our good name, brother. At your service, sister. You know that for me, our family's good name always comes last. I'll pretend that those words are a product of your present indisposition. Ligia, sweetheart, don't listen to this idiot. It's the booze talking, not him. Can you make it home from here, or do you need a hand? But, but, those five rubles, remember? This is a bit awkward, but... Well, spit it out. A full sentence, please. My beloved sister, could you please, on my behalf, give some money to Abaurice? Here, from now on, you can cover your own tabs. Maybe you'll even start paying for your own telegrams. And now, pardon me, but I have things to do in life. Once you've dragged yourself home, brother, I'd like a word with you. All right, don't worry about it now. We'll have a chance to meet up. Next time, you're buying. Next time? <laughs> so you think I'm done with you? One night like this is too little for us to be squared up. I know not why others stare, lest it's at our drinking fair. I need to see Rasputin. Mr. Shitsky. Is Rasputin here? Sadly, yes. It's good to see you. Unless I'm mistaken, and you've come with something unpleasant. I 
Actually, I don't feel great. Let's see what you've brought with you this time. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. Where is he? I don't see him, but I can sense. So that's how you want to play. That chirping of his is unbearable. Do you hear him? Good. That means you can locate him. Point him out to me. Focus on his song and show me where he's hiding. You have him. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. No, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narazinski door is...
Come in. Please, set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? I can't help noticing that you're the most tight-lipped barber I've been to. And even you admit that you rarely talk to clients. Why is that? When I prepared them for their final journey, it's hard to ask for their opinion. So you style the deceased, too? Mostly. They still need to look good. After all, you only get a funeral once in your lifetime. So, what do you think? Do you like it? Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied.
Fill out forms A1, B, and D12. Pay the entry fee. Hey, he's a magician. Who's the head of this shit house? I am. Wojimiusz Konieczny, chairman of the Warsaw anti thaumaturge Society. And you are either extremely insolent or stupid to come here, Tempermancer. My papa liked the word Tempermancer. He was very hopeful it would catch on in Polish. I'd love to see his face right now. Can you get to the point? Let's talk like civilized people. You can't talk to magicians. They're non-human like the vampires prowling the cemetery. What do you want? I demand an apology. My beloved Papa's grave has been desecrated. I won't apologize for anything. We combat black magic, which is a noble cause. Either you apologize, or I'll smash your face in. Valdush, let's go. There's no point. Did you come here to ruin me? Then now I'll take a look around. Don't try any tricks. I felt something. Where is it? bother you anymore.
luck. Oh well. Well, there we have it. Morano, hello. Let's see what brought you here. I felt something. Where is it?
Let me rest. Let's wait. Set. from round here, I can see. Good evening. Is this a bad time? It is a bad place, fancy boy. It is for the locals. I got it. I'll see myself out. Well, well. What a day.
Hello. Hello, hello. How can I help you, sir? Are you buying? Pledging? Art, cards, old farts, top coats, key, jewelry. Do you remember Mieszko Setsemin? He was a lone shark around here. And you're asking me because? No reason. Setsemin died a long time ago. They say someone attacked and shot him. Terrible tragedy. Terrible. Even talking about him might bring bad luck. And so, life goes on here in Powiśle. Goodbye.
secrets, not on my watch. your legs go. Let's wait. Nothing can be kept secret from me. Let's... So...
It smells so nice in here. Is that vanilla? Vanilla, raisins, butter, sugar, and some more butter. You're in heaven. Can I help you? Mrs. Yagoda, it's me, Victor. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Little Victor, oh my, how you've grown and how handsome you've become. Where is that little cherub who would stand in front of the display, staring at pastries? That gluten is still here. I can't forget your cream pie with cherries. I've been dreaming about it for 15 years. You see, my lovely, the trick is quite simple. It's just a little butter, about three packs of... Excuse me, I'm waiting for my order here. No reason to be angry, darling. Just wait a moment. My daughter is taking the fruitcake out of the oven now. It will be hot. With raisins and orange peel? I'll wait then. Are you sure you're not a thaumaturge? Let that be my sweet secret. That is all. Thank you. Goodbye. Don't you want to take anything sweet home with you? Well... As you wish.
Which one of you is Lech? I am. What's your business? Digging out the cemetery at night. I know you're the one digging up bodies from graves. Valush and his crew are also friends of yours. What? I have no idea who you're talking about. Maybe he's drunk. It's some lunatic. We have no choice, fellas. He's asking for a beating. Save me! 
What do you want from me? Why do you disturb the dead? Aren't you ashamed? I won't do it again, really. But it wasn't my idea, I swear. They told me to. And as for Valush and his people, they're tight with the carpenter. He builds coffins in the nearby yard. Who told you to do it? Oh, this one guy. Konechne. Vojimiej Konechne. The head of this whole WAS. People won't find out who defaced the graves of their loved ones on one condition. Thank you, God, thank you. What do you need? I need you to tell me something. Why did the Vojimish make you dig up the corpses? Well, the way I see it, he wanted to scare people. And it worked, didn't it? I think I need to have a chat with Vojimish. Oh, since you're going there, can you tell him I'm still waiting for the money? He said he'd get it from membership fees, so he can't say he doesn't have any. Yes, sir.
Well, there we have it. Boss, we need to start over. The whole base layer. What sort of stomping cut out here for? You're making my people angry. Can't you see the work is in full swing here? I'm just passing by. Do you have a problem with that? I have a problem with people like you not giving a shit about people like me who work for people like you. And when in fear, then it's workers on the world unite. Why don't you start a fucking revolution? Get lost! We want to earn our daily bread. If you can't afford bread, why don't you eat cake? Just you wait. We could use some exercise after all that carrying. Are you sure, boss? Tis the final conflict.
Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Sorry, what? You tell me. What is it? I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier? I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two pad legs and a space for your Johnson. I don't know what else there is to it. If you tell me that, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Let me sharpen my senses. I won't bother you. All right. Well, let's get this over. I need some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulski, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. Now, I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. 
Recently, I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Hmm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go, or have you changed your plans? Yes, let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. Look at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Very chic choice. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Szulska, here on the invitation of Svetlana Romianceva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? Who are you, my golden Slytherin friend? Victor? Victor! Victor! Can you hear me? Yes, uh, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Viper's Den, brother. Everything's all right. I just got a little lost in thought. I'll be good, I promise. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there. Well, well, someone new. Good evening. Good evening, Viktor Szulski. Irina Orlova of those Orlovs. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Szulski. The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you do? What can you tell us? Uh, 
How are you enjoying yourselves? We can't complain. Seeing as we're debutantes, we're getting a lot of attention. Really? Maybe you'll tell us something about yourself. I've heard a certain secret. Do you want to hear it? Come now, we won't tell anyone. Someone was recently playing with a lock on one of the gilded cages, wondering what would happen if all the birds escaped captivity. And I know for certain it was one of you. Sophia, that sounds like you. Admit it. And now what will happen to us, Mr. Shulski? In exchange for my discretion, I need another secret of yours. That's the only way to keep everyone in check. What should I choose? Our fathers don't know we're here. There you are. How naughty. None of your fathers know? None. Especially not Sophia's. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let her come. I'm very satisfied with this trade. And what now? I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. To tell the truth, I didn't believe they existed. A thaumaturge? Don't worry. But now you do. That trick with the cage. You've impressed me. I need to slip away for a moment. We should go as well. We've really forgotten ourselves around you. That's nice to hear, but I understand. The soiree won't wait. I hear Rumiansava has invited a real medium. Will there be ghosts? That I'd like to see. What did we come here for? These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Skawan is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Old Skawan and I are practically on first name terms now. You'll see. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxime? Hmm, not much. The dull, the silly, or, well, the old. En parlant de Ligia Shulska, <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Skawan, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? My name is Viktor Shulski. Well, there we have it. And I don't like what I just heard. Especially about my sister. 
And uh, what are you going to do about it? Pardon me, gentlemen. I promised that I would be well behaved tonight. Lunatic. Mr. Shulsky? I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. You don't know how very flattering that is. And what brings you to the Imperial? If I may, there's one question niggling at me. How did you get so many scars? Why do you ask? I've heard that Russian officers in training have drunken duels with sabers after hours. No. A very peculiar custom, if that's true. So where did those scars come from? I've led an interesting life. I could ask you the same question. I'm passing the time. Ah, oh, curious hobby. I'm simply interested in people. Do you know these circles well? They're not hard to figure out. A gang of non too bright layabouts chasing amusement after amusement after amusement. Do you feel part of that gang? I'm not one of them. And neither are you. Nor was your father. Who are you, really? Just someone who wants to enjoy himself at a party. The cream of Warsaw society is here, so I thought it would be worth showing my face. With a name like yours, I'm sure you fit right in. After all, someone must have invited you. The friend of a friend of a friend is throwing this party, so you might say I know the hostess. Romancevo herself? Look at you! And who invited you? The friend of a friend of a friend. What are you hoping for this evening? Who knows? Maybe I'm keeping an eye out for the future Mrs. Shulska. <laughs> Best of luck. You'll need it since Ligia ended up with the entire inheritance. My sister didn't inherit everything. That's right, in fact. After all, Stanislav had his little black magic book. But I don't see you carrying it. Two is more than I can carry. I left it at home. Understandable. Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice. Though truth be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. Which of my father's decisions would those be? Ones that were good for your family. Perhaps... We'll have the chance to return to this another time. Goodbye, Mr. Shulsky. Yes, I'm sure.
Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Maybe that's enough. What do you want? The trick with entering someone's head. I know one person who can do that. You're not much of a thaumaturge if you can't. If you come here to torment me, unmask me. I don't see any fun in unmasking you. So what do you want? I think your idea of pretending to be a medium is fantastic. It sounds like I impress you. How many people know? Is that a threat? Your serum is quite impressive. Flattery will get you nowhere. Madame, you're being impolite. What about a little competition? <laughs> we'll see who wins. I'll pass. I noticed a wild salutor here. I understand your being here has something to do with him in particular. Keep your nose out of this. Mm, why? Because I'm warning you. What do you know about this salutor? Do you know its name? Don't you? A name doesn't tell us much anyway. All that matters is picking out the person in this crowd with the floor. I know perfectly well who carries the flaw. Another reason for you to stay out of it. The person with the flaw attended the seance, right? <sighs> so I'm on the right track. Have you finished? That's not such a ladylike tone, madame. Maybe we should just let the best one catch that saditor. <laughs> you mean yourself. So, should we finish up? That would be best. And listen to me carefully, Mr. Whatever your name is. Shulsky, but you can call me Victor. Now, Mr. Shulsky, you will vanish like a bad dream, and I will get back to work. Thank you. 
Here you are. Gentlemen, meet my brother. Viktor Shulsky. The last Shulsky to wear trousers. You don't know that. Miss Ligia could yet produce an heir to the fortune. Maybe even with me, if she doesn't tell my wife. But let's talk like men. You intend to take over your father's company, correct? First, I suggest you mind your own business. Your marriage, for instance. Perhaps Louisa isn't the ninny you take her for. I beg your pardon? Hasn't it occurred to you that when you leave her at home, she might also take advantage of her solitude? What are you suggesting? You've got a cockle's horns. Was I being too subtle? I suppose it's true what they say about you. Yes, what's that? You've lost your mind. Thank you. I've worked long and hard at that. Good luck with your business, miss. I almost feel sorry for them. Have I crossed the line? Nonsense. Any progress with Svetlana? I've taken a long, deep look at Samira. She's no medium. Samira is a thaumaturge on the hunt. On the hunt? Madame has spotted a salutor that's attached to one of the guests. What kind of salutor? Remember those fairy tales Mother used to read us? Uh, and the legend of the golden snake? Yes, Velas. Yes, I'm glad you're here. Are you also hunting for him? I admit I'd like to have him. I haven't made up my mind. Be careful. I am. That's why I haven't made up my mind. Sofia Skawan, the Governor General's daughter. Do you know her? No, and I don't suggest you make her acquaintance either. Skawan can't stand thaumaturges. Guess who I ran into again? All mysterious and carved up. Ivan Konietkin? What do you know about him? Mm, not much. He was an acquaintance of Papa's. Well, in theory, it's thanks to him that we're here. What? Ligia? I know that nothing comes for free, but he really didn't want anything. Yeah, he looks like a real altruist. You enjoying yourself in this viper's den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going. Shulski, don't play with me.
Do you know the hostess well? Will you leave me alone if I say I don't? No. Svetlana Pietrovna invited me, and I am doing my best to meet her expectations. Let's keep out of one another's way. Whose soul are you summoning tonight, dear madame? I only know which one I'd prefer to banish. Shoo! Maybe my dead father's? If you manage that, it would spare me a lot of trouble. Now we'll never know. I saw one of your posters. You look different in it. Really? The illustration doesn't reflect reality? How should I take that? No one warned me that I should get in costume for the party. Ugh, I beg your pardon. I'm just noting that you stand out among these boring guests. Impudent. Just a bit uncouth, I'd say. I'll disappear. For now. Sometimes it's good to let things go and leave other people in peace for your own benefit. I think I'll take up this gauntlet. And the general says to him, tell us something funny. Then Bautsky replies, General, why don't you shoot a cannon first? That's a good one. I'll have to tell it tomorrow at the Orwafs. Who might this be joining our conversation? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Ah, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. See you there. I think I've offended the creme de la creme of Warsaw. This is hardly the creme de la creme. How do you find my soiree? How is it being part of the Tsar's court? It is a blessing and a curse. Forgive me if I do not elaborate. I admit I'm getting reacquainted with the social scene. You spent a long time traveling, didn't you? Fifteen years. Over that time, I got used to harsher surroundings. And believe me, drawing rooms can be just as dangerous as untamed steps. You've met Anastasia and Marina. What about the others? I've already met several distinguished guests. Madame Samira definitely stands out. She is exceptional, isn't she? Her presence is the crowning glory of the evening. Has anyone else caught your eye? Ivan Konechkin, for instance. Apparently, he knew my father. How remarkable. I wasn't aware. Konechkin is something of a secretive person. And have you yet had occasion to meet the debutants of the season? I'll be sure to seek them out. This evening, Sofia Skowen herself is to grace us with her presence. Well, well. I suggest you move quickly. The competition is fierce. The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. You knew him. That doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you, both of you. The death of someone close is always a dreadful blow. Please accept my condolences. Svetlana Piotrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you we have the most delectable vodka. Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's seance. It will be an unforgettable experience. Hmm, I wonder, is that truly everything our soiree can offer you? 
I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. No need to mince words. I felt something. Where is it? I was looking for you. Do you smoke, Mr. Shulsky? I've quit. In light of our approaching conversation, why don't we dispense with the pleasantries? Call me Svetlana. Victor. Ask. The burned note. Who sent it? I only sensed underhanded kindness. Da. The Ochrana. I don't know which one of them exactly, if that's what you're asking. I've worked hard at it. The Ochrana? It stands for Atzilenie po ochranieniu abszczestwiennoj bezpasności i pariatka. In other words, the secret police. I know what they are. I'd like to know what they want. Knowledge. The Tsar's eyes and ears must be on guard. They infiltrate not only the city, but, most importantly, the court. And me and my Suarez, too, I'm sure. When did you receive this note? A few weeks ago, back before your father. I see. That large travel chest, you changed your mind... About whether or not to pack. 
Right then, I wanted to escape badly, but that would have had its own consequences. In this game of false appearances, I'm the best. You two had an affair. <sighs> two grown-up, lonely people found momentary comfort in each other's arms. But Romans wasn't behind that relationship. It was just that we were both looking in the same direction. I didn't have the chance to get to know him as a person, much less one who'd show such emotion. You mean love, da? Was it love? I miss him, that's all. What do you mean by looking in the same direction? <sighs> I still don't know how this lovely note ended up in your hands. But in addition, I found a lovely strings of pearls, and on it, your feelings of guilt. Your power is terrifying. Do you know that? Tsarina Alexandra gave you those pearls. You two are close. I am her confidant. I could call her my friend. I see how much she devotes to her family and the nation. Yet something has changed. Your feelings of guilt. Do they have something to do with Tsarina Alexandra? With the whole empire. Ruski Mir in Podavai. We, the establishment, perceive the need for change. We want reform. The Colossus is already teetering, but if it falls... La guillotine, mon chéri. But I want to live, Victor. Ideally, closer to the West. Where was my father in all this? Willingly or otherwise, he was part of the establishment that wanted change and could see revolution before it arrived. The Ochrana knew about you, hence the note. They must have noticed something. Isn't it time you told me why you really came to my soiree? Do you think the Ochrana killed my father? Your father was crushed by a building. I don't think that's how the Ochrana works. Perhaps you're right. What do you intend to do now? Nothing. The Suarez will continue. Society has come to expect it. Everything will stay the same. I myself shall manage. I hoped you might know something about the Black Grimoire. My father left it to me in his will, but the Grimoire has gone missing. No. And the collapsed building? Have you been there? There's nothing there. My dear boy, I know nothing about Stanislav's book. I'm sorry, but I can't help you there. But I will not let you leave empty-handed. I strongly believe that there is one place you ought to visit. What you find there belongs to you. Thank you. No, thank you for listening. Splendid ladies, distinguished gentlemen, the hour is at hand. With lights dimmed and the curtains drawn, the souls of the dead slowly gather among us. 
On their command, I will give the chosen among you a tarot card as your invitation to the table. For you, sir? Madame is fooling around and thinks you can scare me off. I'm done wasting time on this. Let us gather in secret ritual. Let's not keep the souls waiting too long. Let us also make every effort together not to spoil their visit. Shulski, don't play with me. Did I see that you've met this madame person? Unfortunately, Svetlana doesn't want to breathe a word of it. I'm sure she doesn't trust you. In company like this, that speaks well of her. Why the cold shoulder, Ligia? I've never liked her. Her manner gets under my skin. I've heard she's a dreadful schemer. Hmm. Did you know that Papa had an affair with the host of this party? Uh, are you sure? Absolutely. As sure as the Thamatus can be. I felt what he felt when, uh, well, you know. Oh, stop! That's disgusting! Quickly, change the subject. I'm going. Mr. Shulski, may I have a word? How can I help? My friends and I are just playing truth order, and now it's my turn. Won't you dazzle me with your powers? Your father would not be thrilled about you playing games with the Thaumaturge. Maybe that's precisely the point. 
to keep violating his wishes? First, please tell me the rules of this game. Of course, I'm being silly. After all, you've been away a long time. It's simple. Each player in turn must admit a truth or accept a dare. Anyone who doesn't must drop out of the game and thereby loses. And I don't like to lose. I would guess that to you, a dare would be the lesser of two evils. How very perceptive. It involves finding out my comrades' secrets. Irina, Maxim or Sergei. The trick is that you're cleverer at it than I am. I accept. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Let me see what I can find. Will any secret do? Any. I wait anxiously for your return. I'll take a look around. You're getting impatient. What have you found out? En parlant de secrets, I found your fan. Oh, and I was just thinking that I hadn't remembered where I'd left it. Very interesting. The fan revealed to me that you dropped it on purpose. Oh, you've got me. I was hoping the right person would find it. And here we are. It worked. Oh, I was wondering where you'd gone off to. You know Sergei, don't you? We're already acquainted. Mr. Shulsky and I have completed my extra difficult dare together. At your service. Now time for truth. Are you seeing anyone?
Maybe we should not reveal all our secrets to one another right away. Mr. Shulsky, our time is up. Sophia and I must leave for the sales. Madame is waiting. Thank you once more. See you. Therefore, Velis chased Sofia Skawan and her floor here. She seemed like such an innocent girl, didn't she? Unless you count sending her admirer on a deadly trip to Africa. It's no coincidence she focused on me. After all, old Skawan hates Thaumaturgis. The little scam. If I want to discern that little schemer's flaw, I'll have to join that sepulchral table. Either her scheming or her jealous knight in shining armor will help me identify her flaw. I hope her father doesn't find out. Shulsky, don't... Is this seat free? The energy is dissipating. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I am losing contact with these souls. Well, it was the souls that chose me after all. It's true. The gentleman has a card. <laughs> Let us lay our hands on the table. Let us allow our minds to liberate themselves from our bodies toward the edges of the world as you know it. Are you thinking of someone exceptional whom you wish to summon? That's exactly the sort of person I had in mind. Oh, is it a long lost love? Rather a future delightful acquaintance. Leave her alone. Sergei, this has nothing to do with you. Dear guests, I implore you, the souls! Your devotion goes unnoticed, and you know full well why that is. I do. I am your father's choice, not yours, aren't I? Quiet, please. Well, this will make your companions happy. Making fools of people, heaven forbid. Sit down. My poor heart. Uh, focus on someone you want to make contact with. There is one soul I'd like to summon. Whom do you mean? Teofil Skalski. Does that name mean anything to you? The poor man drowned on the way to Africa, didn't he? No, it wasn't like that. I didn't know he would be killed. Are you planning a similar fate for Sergei? All this just to get under your father's skin? So what if it was? Do you know what it's like to live in the shadow of a cold, absent father? Rings a bell. Is it such a sin to want to be loved? The powers you and your kind have are terrifying. That's why people hate you! That's why my father is cracking down on you! All that matters is I have what I wanted. 
Don't you dare! <sighs> you were supposed to stay away. I was supposed to leave here with Velis. All that work for nothing. Tell me, what don't I understand? Do you know who she is? Who her father is? You're right. Sophia Skawan was meant to have her floor removed, discreetly. But I suppose it's too late for that, isn't it? Someone hired you to remove the floor from Sophia. Who? Take a guess. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. It's also too late to stay silent. What's done can't be undone. Sophia Scowon is now the center of the scandal. I have this under control. I know how to give Sophia's story a happy ending. I hope we don't all come to regret it.
Rasputin sees you, then you'll stop fighting me. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this evening the souls were particularly restless. Sofia? Did you enjoy the show? My best so far. So, I suppose now is the time to applaud. And you, sir, what can you tell us? Let it sink in that you're free, finally. Neither your father nor your environment define you. Everyone heard those atrocious words from my lips. I can't undo that. But you're right. You freed me. I know what it means to live in the shadow of a father, but that's all behind me now. What did you do? He died, and the problem disappeared. Mr. Shulsky, that's in poor taste. What's going on here? The guests are complaining, and with good cause, I see. We're terminating this disaster. Farewell, Viktor Shulsky. See you. No, I don't think so. Will the gentleman with a book be leaving peacefully, or should we show him out? You're going to have to escort me out of here. I hoped you'd say that, bookseller.
scare me like that. Mr. Sulski, are you alright? I think it's time for us to go. Oh, snug us a carriage. You'll have a hard time at this hour. I'll drop you off. See, you can always count on Mr. Konieczkin. Viktor. Thank you. That's very polite. Thank you for an interesting evening. <sighs> what? I didn't say anything. Fine. Konieczkin is up to something. Victor, if not for him, <sighs> he really helped us tonight. I don't want to talk about it tonight. Good night. Where's Grazena when I need her? The telephone. Hello? 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 Victor? Speaking. Victor, Uncle Sasha here. How are you? Have you visited your old stomping ground yet? I've rediscovered some things like a comfortable bed. The city has changed a lot, as have we all. The most important thing to me right now is retrieving my father's grimoire. Your grimoire? I wish you luck, boy. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. And how are you, uncle? I wanted to uh, need. I need your help, boy. It's a very delicate matter. Are you able to find a moment for your uncle? All right, so where should we meet? Remember where I took you kids for donuts? Uh, I do. <laughs> Let's meet there. Maybe you can reminisce about the old days. Better days. See you then, Victor. Thank you. Mr. Shitsky. Is Rasputin? Sir. It's good to see you. Although, I think I can already see what you need. Let's not waste time. How about that? I'll be very grateful to you for another round of help. Let me share something about your pace in hunting for salutors. Aren't you losing yourself too much in it? Again? Is there something you want to tell me? Do you not want to help me anymore? Nonsense. You can always count on me. I'm just worried. 
close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. Do you see him? He's remarkable. I... I can't <laughs> tame him. You can, and you will. Look, he's afraid of you. Calm your heartbeat. It will scare him off. Calm yourself. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on. Have you seen the future again? I don't know if it's the future. It could just be some symbols I don't know how to interpret. Heavy clouds drifting over battlefields, reaping a deadly harvest, and these faceless beings walking among strangely contorted bodies, and the ship unsinkable, yet it went down with thousands on board. I feel as though I could have stopped it. Did you watch me sleeping? You still drool. I think I shouldn't abuse the Nadarzhinsky's hospitality any further. That distressed woman you mentioned, Svetlana. You know, I saw her in my vision. That surly maid brought me the gossip about her that was going around town. This Svetlana is causing herself trouble. I don't remember talking to you about Svetlana. Maybe that's an effect of our treatments. I hope everything comes back to you. What was this gossip, may I ask? Nothing that would sully her in your eyes. She intrigued me. I'd like to meet her. And you know, I think she needs help. Help? What do you want me to do? Bring her to me. I won't keep you. Until next time.
Is there anything else you want to ask? Do you roam cemeteries and fight vampires too? What? No, I'm new here. They've only had me paint some banners for now. I've seen them. I can tell you're talented. It's just doodling. I won't bother you anymore. Is there anything else? I know about your little secret. You don't work here out of passion, do you? Is it necessary to enjoy one's job? You work for someone else, don't you? For the Russians, not the WAS. You must be crazy. I don't snitch to anyone. Leave me alone. I have a document that might compromise Mr. Konechny. Why should I care? Your supervisors will be keenly interested in this evidence, I presume. But I've told you. Just take this letter and do what you deem right with it. I'm sure it will help you get a better assignment than this one. Well, just leave it with me. But I still don't know what you're talking about. What do you want, Tempermancer? I thought the Ochrana would be interested in your activities and sent them some of your compromising materials. They should be especially appreciative of how your organization gets its funding from the socialists. So the Ochrana sent me to Suava to you. Your snitch is just now strolling over to them, carrying all the evidence. Liar. Do you see her anywhere around here? You will regret this, magician. There won't be a place on Earth that will hide you from the wrath of the righteous. Fine. Just don't send your boys to the cemetery anymore, and send me a postcard from the Citadel.
Sweet Jesus, don't scare me. It's a rather grim job you've got here. Well, you know, I'd rather do this than struggle with drunkards in a bar or bolts in a factory. The dead are calm and predictable, you know? Unless they start rising from the grave, that is. First of all, the WAS won't mess around you anymore. Did you send them to hell where they belong? I turned the matter over to the secret police. Now the Ochrana will deal with them. Ha! Ah, they'll bring them a fate worse than death. That's the way. But now that it's all over, would you be so kind as to make a donation? For the cemetery, of course. And to make sure important notices reach you as quickly in the future. I'll be gracious. Please write a letter to my sister. She'll send you a check. Thank you for looking kindly on an honest man. If you do expire someday, I'll get you the most exquisite hearse. God bless, Mr. Shulsky. Please, step back. This is a crime scene. I can see that. Am I wrong? Or does the deceased have no eyes? Yeah, no eyes, all right. And why would there be? He's the fisherman's sixth victim. Hey, Rogulski. Cut the chit-chat. And you three steps back. Go on! Is the fisherman some local criminal? Get out of here while I'm still asking nicely. Easy, I'm going now. I don't want to bother you. Just what I need. A fucking throng of onlookers. A little to the left, will you? You are blocking my view. What are you doing here? Drawing an illustration for a newspaper? For myself, as a local artist. I'm Cayetan. Do you specialize in still lives? Yes. You might say that. Here in Povishle, nothing interesting's ever happened. But there you go. Murders with an artistic twist. Very inspiring material.
Bovishna doesn't seem like a pleasant place to live. Is life itself pleasant? I don't think so. Even those mutilated bodies, they have no eyes. As if the murderer tried to say there's nothing to see here. So you're saying that nothing matters? Exactly. Once misfortune brought me to this river, I wanted to end my life. But the river wouldn't have me and threw me back on the bank. I decided to stay around. What exactly do you paint? Dead bodies. Someone might say the dead deserve respect. I'm saying that both life and death are meaningless. You are blocking my view. I'll go now. Nice rocks. They smell like downtown. What are you sniffing around here for, Outlander? You'd better not get in my way when I'm working. And what does a whelp like your double in? Maybe he's the murderer. The young master was bored and came to Povishta for a taste of gore. He'll taste it all right. His own.
Is the painting finished? Nope. The police took the body before I could finish. But I'm sure something new will appear soon. I'll go now. The things people come up with.
Am I a magician or what? <laughs> 